Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, I just wanted to show you a uh, one of my new kits. Uh, it's going to be sold as a uh, both as a uh, kind of a um, a an emergency alarm and as a solenoid driver, so you can actually use it to uh, drive a solenoid to open a door. But I'm I'm going to get to that later. Uh, this is a variant of one of my kits that I already have. What makes this one special is it actually talks to you and instructs you through the process, which I thought was kind of neat. It comes with a little speaker that plugs into a header on the board. Now, it has two programs. Um, a, a default, if your place is prone to blackouts, it's got, yeah, I suggest using um, uh, your default combination mode, and that's by placing this jumper header onto this jumper right here, connecting it. And then you power it up, and it'll place you into the default code setting, where the code is 10, 10, 10, 9. Now, if you want to program in your own code on power up, leave the jumper off. I'll give you a demonstration first. Uh, and you program in your own code, and your, my, my voice will walk you through it. So let me power it on. Enter combination. Enter combination. So I'm going to create my own combination. I'm going to, be, I'm going to make my combination 10, 9, 8, 5. System ready. So now, if I only the output will only be, will be activated if I press uh, 10985. Uh, there's also a timeout, so I'm just going to press any button to show you the timeout. When that red LED pops up, timeout. So you have to you have to uh, you have to start again. So what I'll do is I'll cr enter in the wrong password. Incorrect combination. Incorrect combination. So let's actually do let's do it right. Let's do 10985. System activated. So the relay turns on, applying 12 volts to the input. There, the uh, one pin, the positive pin, is is connected to 12 volts, and the other is ground. So basically, I can put a solenoid on the output, and uh, that will activate the solenoid. As well, I could put a siren at the output and make this a security, uh, kind of like a, 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 a panic alarm. So if the user enters in that password, and only if they enter in that password, will the alarm go off. So I'm actually going to be selling it as both a solenoid driver and as a panic alarm. So if I want to turn the relay off now, all I have to do is press any button. System deactivated. System deactivated. So now, it's still got that same code. System activated. System deactivated. So I can put in the wrong password from here on in and... Incorrect combination. Incorrect combination. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to power it off. I'm going to put the jumper on and put us in default combination mode. Power back on. Default combination. Default combination. So, system ready. System ready. Uh, that's what it will say if you're in default combination mode. It will tell you it's default combination, system ready. So, 10, 10, 10, 9 is our code. System activated. System activated. System deactivated. So now, from here on in until we power it down or power it back on, our code is 10, 10, 10, 9. That's with the jumper connected. So let me turn the video off, and what I'll do is I'll get a solenoid out. I've placed a, uh, a diode, a protective diode, between the positive and the negative output with the uh, cathode on the positive and anode on the negative. And you do this with the relay as well. There's actually a protective diode on the relay. And the reason for this is because when... Power is applied to the uh, solenoid. It's like an it's an electromagnet. It's, uh, and when, when power is disconnected, what happens is when the magnetic field coll field collapses, it shoots a, a very high voltage spike that can damage your circuitry. So the way around this is to place the diode on the 12 volt on, on 12 volts because I'm powering it at 12 volts right now. Of course, it's regulated down to five for the digital circuitry through the regulator, but uh, the input voltage is actually going through the relay to the solenoid, and you need that diode in there, or else you'll reset the system. So let me just give you. Uh, let me just show you. I've, I've, I've got in default pro, default to combination mode right now. System activated. System activated. So I'm just going to put my finger right here to make sure that the solenoid doesn't shoot out. System deactivated. System deactivated. Just put in the wrong combo. Let's put in the right combo. System activated. Need a. So right now the power supply is, is uh it's taking about 375 milliamps. Just going to show you the siren really quick. Your panic alarm siren. You put in the right code. The siren goes off until you press one of the buttons. Uh, anyway, so it's going to be really loud. I'm just going to have it on for a quick second because it's going to aggravate my cats. Oh, let's probably power it on first.
pretty loud. And that'll stay on, of course, until you press one of the other buttons. So someone comes into your house, put in, uh, you have in default combination mode, 10 to 10, 9, run away from it. And uh, you can even put this into, into a, a box. Uh, there are four mounting holes. It's a really, really neat kit. I'm very happy with how it turned out. So, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you check us out at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. Got three more things to show you today, so check, check my channel if you don't, haven't already subscribed. Thanks for watching, everyone.